traditionally, purple has been an important color. Due of its extreme rarity for centuries, the dye came to represent riches and nobility. Throughout her reign, Queen Elizabeth II has donned a variety of purple outfits. The Princess of Wales attracted attention in a lovely purple outfit as she visited the Marine Museum in Hamburg, Germany. The royal mother accessorized a long-sleeved dress by her favorite designer, Amelia Wickstead, with a reddish-pink purse and SED nude stilettos. For the occasion, her voluptuous brunette dresses received an additional lift from loose curls put in the center of the dress. During her visit to the Henry Fawcett Children's Center in London, she accessorized her outfit with a gorgeous pair of silver teardrop earrings, but her most striking piece was her husband, Prince William, who looked dapper in a blue tux and burgundy tie. This morning, she switched things up by dressing in a stylish Gucci bow top and regal purple and black and white leggings by John. Her lavender espino of London handbag and black pointed toe heels completed her understated yet sophisticated ensemble. The princess didn't have her brood with her, but she is a mother of three royal children. It was during this time that she attended the yearly Commonwealth Day ceremony at Westminster Abbey and shared many precious moments with newborns and toddlers. She made a statement at the event by dressing in a burgundy coat dress, a throwback to earlier Royal FB4 gatherings in 2018. She dressed as though she were Catherine Walker and attended the Christmas Day church service with the other members of the royal family. Her clothing for this evening is by one of her favorite British designers, Jenny Packham, and appears blue in some of the images and royal purple in others. She accessorized her ensemble with a little sparkly purse and flashy shoes that were purportedly purchased from Jimmy Cho. Too late to die. The Princess of Wales made her debut in London looking stunning in a regal purple outfit suited for the future queen. When she visited Dye, Northern Ireland, on September 29th, she wore the suit. Middleton is wearing a purple long-line jacket with four buttons and straight-leg trousers that go with it. Her dark navy turtleneck peeked out from under the suit, and a black belt with gold buckles completed the ensemble. She chose blue shoes to go with her turtleneck and pulled her hair back into a tight ponytail, creating a polished, uncluttered silhouette. It's also very significant to remember that he was holding several animals, including a tarantula, while Catherine was dressed in her elegant purple suit. Her sense of style has always been elegant, yet she doesn't shy away from vivid hues and glistening dresses. Since becoming the Princess of Wales, the princess is choosing more clothing and bolder than she has in the past. On the eve of King Charles III's first state visit as a monarch, she is transitioning into a new role with a serious yet stylish look. On November 22, the royal joined her husband, Prince William, in welcoming the South African president and the Horse Guards procession in London. Alia Wickstead, one of Kate's favorite British designers, created this ultra-regal plum coat dress. It came with matching pointed toe suede pumps, a hat, and extra special jewelry. Kate also wore a set of diamond and pearl drop earrings that used to belong to her late mother-in-law Princess Diana, the royal D. Queen Alexandra's famous three-feather bro, which, according to the court jeweler's website, features the Prince of Wales feather emblem, 